Hello everybody, Mike Bristol with Bristol Boardworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel today. So this is to show you the process that I've developed for production birdhouses. I've done an extra five after that first prototype I've done and I think I've gotten it down now to the way I can do it to uh, maximize production but still allow me flexibility as far as creativity goes because I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over. Um, these things are made so that I can I can give them whatever shape I want and still maintain uh, a production schedule. So let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make get this hole in the center. Um, I'll I will uh, wallow it out a little bit with my gouge and then I will drill it out to make sure it's nice and straight. Um, with a little bit larger bit and that allows me to bring my tail stock up more firmly I'll then turn around and then work on the general shape and this this part here is the top of the birdhouse and uh, I'm just gonna get it round and uh, into a uh, Into a general shape that I want up top. So here we go Now all I'm going to do is shape the outside. I'm not going to hollow the, this part to, to start with. I'll do that after I've shaped the outside of the bottom as well. So right now all we're doing is shaping the top. So that's all I'm doing with the top. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a tiny bit of a sanding before I take it off. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put on the bottom and get it rough shaped as well. So I'm going to come back when I get the bottom tied onto the spindle. Okay, so I've got the bottom chucked up and I'm going to get it shaped. So here we go.
carried away here but hey this just shows you that I can do anything I want on these um, and uh, and still give you know maintain the production schedule and have the flexibility to do what I want on the individual ones now if there's one that takes a little more time than others well that means that one's just gonna be a little more expensive than others because I have to account for my time but uh, they'll all be in a, the price range is probably going to run between $125 and $150. And, um, you know, we'll see how they go. I've got a big show coming up on uh, Black Friday weekend. And um, it's a three-day show. And um, I've got high hopes for these. I hope to have about a dozen of them done before then. And, uh, and I'll report back after that as to how well they do. So for now, I'm going to sand this up on the outside, and then I'm going to hollow the two halves out and get them ready for the next step. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to add some burn details to this. All right, so it's time to hollow out the bottom. It will, uh, it's no frills because birds are gonna live in there. And uh, I just get it hollowed out, get the wall down to about a three eighths of a inch thickness. This one might be a little bit thicker because of the, uh, the grooves I put in there. And, um, and you know, that's about it. That's about it for the bottom. Let's get the top chucked up. All right, so it's time to hollow the top. It's going to be even easier than the uh, than the bottom was. It because you're just trying to remove a little bit of weight, and that's it. I make sure the bottom is flat, and then scoop it out. So I'm going to now separate this from the uh, from the pine sacrificial block, which I should have done on the other, but uh, I didn't. That's okay. I'm going to separate it from the sacrificial block, and then I'm going to put it on the cold jaw so I can finish shaping the top a little bit, and then add my three quarter inch hole that I have on the top for putting my finial. There's the top. All right. There's the 
there's the bottom. All right, so I've got this thing uh, set up so I can flatten out the bottom. Or the, what'll be the top, excuse me. Uh, make a, some final adjustments to the shape. And then uh, I'll drill my three quarter inch hole. But you know what? I might add one more little area for a uh, for a burn. Here's the three quarter inch hole I'm gonna use for my finials. It also helps for glue up and I'll show you what that means next. That's that step. All right, so I took the bottom over to my dr drill press and I added the hole for the birds to enter. And now I'm going to glue it up. So I got a chuck on my headstock that's holding a sacrificial piece of pine that's got a three quarter inch tenon on it to match my the bottom here. And I will slip that on there. And I also have a um, fitting on my tailstock so that I can mount a chuck as well. And I also got the same, made the same uh, sacrificial piece here, also with a three quarter inch tenon for the top. And I could slip it in. So now I'm gonna glue it up. So having, doing this on the Laguna, leaves me uh, the ability to glue it up, let it, let it set up, and I can then go back to the robust and continue working on more birdhouses. But uh, that's glue. It's looking pretty straight. Tighten it up. So after this dries, I can then do my final sanding over here on the Laguna. I can also do any other adornments I want to do, like if I want to dye it or anything, or stain it or anything like that, I can do it right here. <clears throat> and then, uh, so I'm going to come back uh, on a different video and show you how I do my production of finials. And uh, this is just to show you how I get the house itself done. And here you go. All right. Thank you all for watching. Uh, so today, just show you how to maximize production on um, something like birdhouses you knock it down into its individual components and i would say um like i've done uh let's seven so far um do all your glue ups as much as you can do maybe in a day um you have your tops separate from your bottoms uh have all your sacrificial blocks ready to go i i turned a whole bunch of those from pine and I've made it so that I can quickly put them together on, on my uh, glue up jig. And um, I, also, I also glue them up in such a way that I can maximize what I get done in a day. If it's during the work week, uh, many times I'll get up before I leave for work. I'll come out to the shop, quickly glue one up. And uh, when I get home, pull it off, glue up another. 
and that gives me enough time. It sets up enough that I could take it off um, two hours later and glue up a third one. So I get three done in a day. Um, on the weekend, I can just you know keep rotating through. Um, if I've if I'm still gluing up, uh, have enough stock so that I'm uh, I'm gluing up um, you know every every couple hours and build up the stock that way and have it all divided up. Have all your glue your sacrificial blocks on there already pre-drilled for your um, for your face plate. And just have it all set to go. And that way when you can put it on the lathe, you can really go to town. Um, and then you can do uh, like four or five tops, then do four or five corresponding bottoms, and then you can do your glue ups. And you just try to, what you want to do is maximize your efficiency for any given time that you're working on them. So, hope you've gotten something out of this. Um, if you have, please click like and subscribe. I appreciate that. And... Um, please leave me comments. I'll answer every single one. And as always, everybody, please stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.